Mark. Use what? Use what, Mark? Sweet Settle that some other time. Thank you. You look cute. Coffee's here, Mr. Armstrong. Millie, how many times do I have to tell you? Coffee is a drink. A latte is an experience. So's a month in Tahiti. <laughs> Take that down to Margot for me, please. There's one left. Well, that's for you, sweetie, to sip as you sail to uh, Tahiti. Dr. Schiller. Dr. Schiller. Oh, John, sorry. Are you all right? Just thinking about Prexilin. What's this? Raspberry latte. That's your favorite, right? So it is. Thank you. To Prexilin. Tell me, John, are you married? You know I'm not. That's right. You're the one with the self-imposed bachelor term limits. I believe 31 was a magic number. A man should be married by the age of 31, thus ensuring himself to be young enough to enjoy playing with his kids, yet old enough at the same time, and we presume mature enough to provide for said family a modicum of luxuries, as well as boundless emotional support. Well said. Somewhat clinical, but well said nonetheless. There's only one problem, though. What's that? Well. I'm 30 years old, the youngest VP here at Progia. I make great money, but I'm not sure if I'd like to be married. And if so, I'm not sure if I'd like to be married with kids. I worked hard for my career, Get and I don't... Get married, John. Have kids, lots of them, as many as you can afford. Careers aren't real, especially ones like ours. You put your whole life into your work, your company. Then one day, it's all for naught. Alles umsonst. Would you excuse me, please? I have several things to attend to. Sure thing. I apologize, Dr. Schultz. John, not to know is bad. Not to wish to know is worse. That's non sequitur, isn't it? African proverb, I believe. I don't know. I've never heard that one before, sir. Find a wonderful lady, wed her, and have lots of kids. Will do. Thank you. Margo, what the hell is going on? 
Dr. Schiller just flew out of his office window. Yeah, well, maybe he's the smart one. They fucked us, Jack. Who are they? They hung us out to dry, and they fucked us where it hurts. Margo, please, listen. Look, Dr. Schiller is dead. I don't know what happened. He slipped, jumped, you flicked something. You think I give a he... fuck about that crazy crowd scientist? I'm talking to you about Prexalin. Now, we just got word. The FDA's rejecting it. The RTF letter's in the mail. RTF? Refuse to file. Now, I'm so sorry your little Nazi friend is dead, but we've all got way bigger problems. And I said we. Margaret Chadwick? Yeah. Yeah, go back to work. Everybody just stay calm, please. May we? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Jack, fucking detective said his death will probably be ruled a suicide. I mean, the fucking crowd jumped out the fucking window. What does he think, that I asked his secretary to give him a little push? You been drinking, Margo? Oh, yes, I have. And I'm not done yet. Knocked a few back myself. Yeah, well, we both better be sober in the morning. Fucking pals flying in from Europe. This shit's already getting worldwide press. Get some sleep. Let me give you a heads up. You start selling. February 10th, Leland Powell named new CEO to a huge financial write-off to a restructure company, way more than needed, trying to make himself look good. I don't trust him. April 1st, Powell lied at board meeting, reported $100 million in quarter profits when the real numbers are significantly less. First quarter, Powell bought 200 million from company account. 100 million went to pay margin calls. 15 million to build private golf course. 85 million for silent partner purchase of Brexlin stock. May 9th, FDA is fighting us on the results of testing. Here, they will reject Brexlin. With 300 million dollars in profit losses projected, 
lockdown grid is looming. June 5th. Powell tipped silent partner to FDA rejection. They cash out $350 million in company stock. Should call the Ethics Commission. If only I was a whistleblower and weren't a coward. Thank you, gentlemen. Ladies. Mr. Powell. Sorry I'm late, sir. John, so nice of you to join us. Unfortunately, the meeting just ended. I'll bring you up to speed in my office. John, you see this crease between my eyebrows? Yes, sir. That comes from worry. You're not going to deepen the crease, are you? No, sir. I'll, I'll try not to. I'm in Powell's doghouse. You're in mine, too. I heard you saw the documentation retention party last night. It's a very nice way of phrasing destroying evidence. He's locking down the 401ks, Jack. What? Until further notice, employees won't be permitted to sell any personal stock in Progea. Leland Fields and the board agrees that this will give a public perception that Progea remains a rock-solid investment with unlimited growth potential. And, of course, Brexlin leading the way. I thought the FDA... Perception, or... Jack. Business is perception. Do you have any fucking idea how much money is going to be made by the first company with a vaccine for AIDS? Now, this is your boss making a sound business decision in the best interest of our company. The American public is not stupid. They're not going to buy this, The American Margo. public are a bunch of fucking morons. You know it and I know it. They will buy whatever we sell. Now, look, Jack, are you with us? Of course I'm with you. But I want you to know for the record that I think locking up the 401ks is a dumbass what idea. The fuck do you care? This doesn't affect us. It doesn't hit your pocket. Well, that's even worse. I mean, for God's sakes. Are you going to go along with yes, Powell on this? Yes, yes, yes. I am falling right in line. It's fucking necessary, and I recommend you do the same. Now, get behind this, Jack. We are family, and family protects its own. Get the fuck out of my office. Fine. So, lasst uns Abschied von dem Verstorbenen nehmen. Möge er in Frieden ruhen, in alle Ewigkeit. Lasst uns beten. Vater unser, der du bist im Himmel, geheiligt werde dein Name, dein Reich komme, dein Wille geschehe, im Himmel, also auch auf Erden. Unser täglich Brot gib uns heute und vergib uns unsere Schuld, wie wir vergeben unseren Schuldigern. Und führe uns nicht in Versuchung, uns von dem Übel, denn dein ist das Reich und die Kraft und die Herrlichkeit in Ewigkeit. Amen. Exchange Commission is launching a probe today into possible ethics violations at upstart pharmaceutical company Progea. Unnamed sources say the probe will be wide-ranging and could even include an investigation into possible insider trading among several high-level Progea executives. Already reeling from the suicide of Dr. Herman Schiller, Progea is now facing a public relations nightmare. The company is trying to maintain its public trust in the face of pending FDA approval of its long-awaited HIV-AIDS vaccine, Prexalit. I need an answer, and I need it Even quick. Are you going to work with us on this? Hey, who is this? Hello, who is this? Morning, Gail. 
I'm sorry, Mr. Armstrong. Um, I can't let you through. What do you mean you can't let me through? I, I have strict orders. Orders from who? The management. Mm. All right, Gail, look. Whoever told you I can't go through, why don't you tell them to meet me in my office, huh? Not yeah. a possible. Margot, look, I'm still vice president of this company. No, you were vice president. Friends of yours, huh? Bad boy, Jack. So what, am I being terminated? Actually, you terminated yourself. That phone call, bad idea. Oh, come on, Jack, don't get ugly here. Go home. Hey, Vader, I told you, man, I'm not going to some damn... Damn. Still fine. Fatima? Hey, Jack. You gonna invite me in? Oh, Jack, that's Alex. Alex, say hello to Jack. Hello, Jack. Wow, this is fantastic. I love your new furniture. See, Alex, I told you he had great taste. Yeah, well, everything you bought for us, I sent to the Salvation Army. Fatima, what the hell are you doing here? What? I came to see an old friend. You're not happy to see me? Well, the last time I saw you, you fucked me up, down, and all the way around. Honestly, Jack, that was like four years ago. You're not over that yet? Over it? Woman, I was in love with you. And I was in love with you. But things change. People change. They evolve. I evolved. Or you evolved into bed with another woman? You have never let me explain that. So who is this? Your new little plaything? Jack, honestly. This Brazilian bombshell. You the little flavor of the hey, month? Hey, cabron. I'm not Brazilian. I'm Dominican. So what do you want, Fatima? Why the hell are you here? Actually, I'm glad you asked. I want you to be the father of my child. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> this shit. Hello? OK. Do you remember when we were in college and we both said that we wanted to be settled down by the time we were 31? Well, I turn 31 next month. I meant together. Well, that wouldn't have worked, and you know it. You snore, and you leave your boxers on the floor, and you turn the channel to Sports Center when I'm watching the news. And I, it just wouldn't have worked, that's all. So what do you say? What do I say? Try a sperm bank. Please, that is like shopping for Gucci at Walmart. I mean, there's no guarantee you're gonna get pregnant. And even if you do, you don't know what you're getting. His bio could say that he's 6'5", 220, with a PhD from Oxford. And in reality, he smokes, he's bald, he's toothless, ugly, with an IQ of 65. Try adoption. Do you have any idea how hard it is for same-sex parents to adopt? Come on, Jack. You gotta do this for me. I don't gotta do a goddamn thing for you. We'll pay you. We? Did Miss Manny Ramirez say we? Yes. <laughs> Did I not mention to you that Alex and I would both like to get pregnant together at the same time? We're feeling maternal. Oh my <laughs> God, this is some sick shit. <laughs> Who are you calling? Bellevue, eighth floor, because you have lost your damn mind. The average male has 66 million sperm per milliliter of semen. All we're asking you for is two. Dos. That's not too much to ask for, is it? How do you know it's the optimum time for the both of you to get pregnant? Well, we both took our Donna saliva test. And the time is right. Besides, women who live together. Straight or gay. Gay or straight. Over time, we'll menstruate and ovulate on the same cycle. TMGDI. That's too much goddamn information. Like I said, we'll pay you. We need that man milk. Money talks and bullshit walks. In case you're wondering, that's $5,000 in cash. Each a piece per sperm recipient. Oh. But you're lesbians, right? 
We're, We're business women. Jack, I want you to look this over. Now, sweetie, I know that you're clean, but for Alex's sake, we're gonna need a copy of your most recent medical history. I mean, a clean bill of health. No HIV one or two, hepatitis B or any of the other sexually transmitted diseases. And, uh, Jack? No drugs. And I hope you've got a full tank. Because we want every gallon you've got. Fatima, I can't do this. Conference calls ready, sir. Big Five on line one. Gentlemen, I know you're busy, so I'll be brief. Through no fault of our own, Progia has come under fire from the SEC. The culprit in this crisis was one of our most valued and trusted employees, John Armstrong. For it was through his self-serving agenda that this wave of corruption and unethical business practices grew into a mushroom cloud right under our very noses. Gentlemen, this is a courtesy call. Beware of Mr. Armstrong. He's bright, charming, highly driven, and slick. In my open-mindedness, I do employ members of the darker nation. I have no doubt that at this very moment, he's on his way over to seek employment with you. I wouldn't want what's happened to Progia to happen to you in your compassionate attempt to reach your minority quota. We are a family, gentlemen, and family protects its own. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. I have your attention, please. On behalf of myself and the board of directors, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to address you. Many of you were a lot wealthier in the past week, but now because of a sudden dip in Progia stock, you are concerned about the college education for your kids, maybe the mortgage on your house, your retirement fund, whatever it may be. And for that, I'm truly, incredibly, deeply sorry. But we are going to get it back. <clears throat> yes, sir. I, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I, I need to know if you are uh, on crack. <laughs> I mean, if so, that's OK, because that would help to explain a lot. If you're not, you might want to start, because it's going to be a long time before any of us ever trust you again. Is fucking Enron or WorldCom hiring? Sir, we are all under a lot of strain here, and of course, we're still mourning the loss of our beloved colleague, Dr. Schiller. But I do appreciate your honest comments. One last thing I would like to add before I get back to work for you and you and you and you to bring this stock back up to where it belongs. Woo! There is no truth to the rumors about the unethical behavior of John Henry Armstrong. He remains still a valued, vital asset to this company. Despite the FDA, we firmly believe that Prexlin will end the scourge of AIDS on this planet. That is our mission, gentlemen and ladies. God bless you all, and God bless America. This is our to work. Come on. Where's my card? Mr. Armstrong, how are you today? Well, I'll be better if you could give me some answers. Well, I will do my best. Please be seated. Well, what can I do to help you? Well, Mr. Jennings, I just came from the ATM where it ate my card. Mr. Armstrong, I'll take care of that right away. I good. So what you need is uh, the bank manager to help you out. Let's see what I can do here. So many mental midgets running around out there. I. 
Well, let me just override this. It seems as if there's some sort of a... Uh... Is everything okay? Mr. Armstrong, I'll be right back. Is there something I'm wrong? Back in a jiffy. This is highly irregular. There seems to be a small problem. Well, what kind of small problem, Clyde? John. Actually, you might say it's a big problem. Give me a straight answer. John, your account is frozen. What? Your account, the assets, everything, they're all frozen. I've been all around this city trying to get interviews with people who were trying to steal me from Pergia, and now they won't even answer my phone calls. Now, I want my money, and with the quick... There's no reason to raise your voice. This is a bank. But motherfuck a bank! Please. Now, I want my money right now! No, fuck, calm yeah, down. Harry. Look, I'm about to go Mike Tyson and Postal up in this bitch if you don't give me my money. Security! All right? Look, Security! Now I worked hard for my money. I went to Harvard. I can't look, give you look, your money look, now. Look, yes, you will. Hey, I went to Harvard and New York and West Harvard. Hey, I'll sue. I'll sue. You don't fucking know who you're messing with. I'm John Henry Armstrong. form says that I waive all my parental rights. Well, of course, so silly, man. Did you think you were going to be the dad? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'd like to help you out, but I can't do this. Really? Yes, really. Because on the nigga net, it says that you just got canned and that your current net worth is somewhere between zero and the gross national debt. Now you're going to need some serious cash flow if you plan on continuing this lifestyle. Do we get the sperm or not? Sign it. Now, drop your jaws and let's get to work. Okay. Okay, now what the hell is this? What? That. It's a turkey baster. You're not poking that thing inside of me. I don't do dick. Oh. Don't look at me. I want it the old fashioned way. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, Alex? you're not. Listen to me. Fat, I'm you gonna promised. do this the way that I want to do it. Fat, you promised I know me. what I promised you. So you want to do this? It is a woman's prerogative 
to change her mind. Did you come here to make a baby? Did you come here to get... You know what? Forget it. I knew, I knew you get it twisted and flipped the switch on me. Right. <sighs> Fucking unbelievable. I'll wait in the living room. Bed. Sorry. Jack, man, do you realize that Lucy and I haven't had a full night's sleep since the baby was born? How is Lucy? Jack, do you still have a key to this house? Yeah. Well, next time, would you please use it? You're not in trouble, are you? <laughs> are you kidding? Quiet boy couldn't spell trouble if you spotted him the T-R-O. No, Mama, I'm fine. I'm not in any trouble. Mm -hmm. I did lose my job, though. You lost your job? I don't believe it. You ain't been unemployed since you were 14. Jack, what happened? Night, y'all. Night, Lucy. I'm sorry. Come on, come tell me about it. How on earth did you lose your job? I don't know. So I reported it. I knew I should have just let it go, but Mom, it affected too many people. Ethics violations. Well? Tell the truth, shame the devil. I think you did the right thing. Right thing? I only caused an SEC investigation, lost my job, and ruined my entire career. Seemed like doing right just ruined my life. Well, why don't you go downstairs and talk to G about it? Wait a minute. Which one of these fools jumped out the window? He did. And he's not a fool. He was a great man. So that's the story, Dad. I think I messed up. <clears throat> no, you did good, son. You just got a deal now. No time for the bullshit. How are you doing? Well, don't worry about me. You stay strong. Because these motherfuckers are going to come after your natural black ass. Think so? Oh, shit, yeah. You fuck with the money. <laughs> it's going to be cold-blooded. How was your last checkup, Dad? Diabetes bitch. My sugar counts up. Me and your mama, oh boy. <laughs> it's rough, man. Mama. Now look, I don't blame your mother. I just feel bad that I'm holding her back. Nobody wants to be a bird. Don't st how, how can the great Geronimo Armstrong be a bird? Shit. Yo, mama would have left my diabetic ass a long time ago if I wasn't all fucked up. That's the only thing that keeps it here. So I just keep to myself down here in the basement and try to stay out of the way. So since I don't have a gig anymore, I'll come by and spend more time with you. Now, you better take care of your own ass, man. I'm telling you, them motherfuckers don't play when you start fucking with the money. All right? If I was you, I would get some legal representation with the quickness. Hey, Doke. 
Ça va Ça va et toi euh, Mr. Armstrong, euh, euh, comment dire en anglais uh, There are gentlemen here to see you. I don't know why. Mr. Armstrong, Agent Flood, Securities and Exchange Commission. You have now been served. <laughs> Maybe it's good news. My father, Geronimo Armstrong, highly recommended you. Tell your father hello for me. So what I need from you now is to paint the picture, tell me the entire story, please don't leave anything out, and you might want to check with me before you speak with anyone else. Lastly, all that I ask is that you do not ever lie to me. Do you understand, Mr. Armstrong? I will never lie to you. Look at this mess I'm stuck in with you. Just let it rest. Jesus Christmas. Jesus Christmas, I wish I could rest instead of laying up here being a nurse to you. I wish I was someplace. Look, I never asked you to be no goddamn nurse, did I? What do you want me to do? You think I asked the good Lord to give me diabetes? Why I mean, is that what you think? You bring up the Lord. Why don't you just leave? No, I ain't leaving. You leave. This is my house. And when you go, who's going to take care of you? You? Jamal, listen, he got a wife and a new baby. And I know you don't think your son Jack is thinking about helping you because all he got on his mind is money. The only thing that'll make you happy is when they've amputated both of my legs. So why don't you just go get a saw and save the doctor a whole lot of trouble? It'll be a lot cheaper, Lottie. Just cut them off. Well, get a goddamn knife and I fucking will. Stop. Get a stop. knife. No, stop. I don't know what to do anymore. You know he's ill. Driving me crazy. You shouldn't have heard that. What's up, man? Hey. <laughs> Brown here with all that screaming and fussing. Huh? Yeah, man. It's, you know, this argument, man. It's like bad for my high blood pressure. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that, son. It ain't nothing new. Me and Jamal used to wake up to the sound of you and Mama screaming at each other, fighting. Yeah, for that I'm ashamed, but, uh, man, you know, <laughs> you're a man or woman. <laughs> but believe it or not, me and your mother still love each other deeply. <laughs> you believe that? We do yeah, love each other yeah, I know, deeply, I know. That's, that's that funny, <laughs> peculiar love. That's yes, what that funny is. funny is, but it's real. <laughs> it's real. You were right about that other thing. They coming at you already, huh? Froze all my money. Nobody will hire me. The SEC served me papers. It's cold-blooded, man. It's Frank Wills. Who? You are Frank Wills, straight up. Who is he? He was a security guard that discovered the Watergate break-in. That opened the country's eyes to government corruption that led all the way up to Nixon. He saved us from a bunch of crooked politicians. <laughs> But what did America do to him? They chewed him up, they spit him out. Frank Wills died destitute at the age of 52. No job, no nothing. That's what they do to you, son. First they break you, then they kill you. Yeah, this is Watergate Security. Wells, Tau B. Go ahead, Wells. It is a possible break in at 2510 Virginia Avenue, Northwest. Perpetrators may still be on the premises. Could you send somebody over here, please? Copy that. DC police are on the way. Thank you. Never should have found that duct tape on the door, boy. Never should have made that call. Now your life is ruined. We'll run you out of town. You'll never work again. I, however, John Dean, will make millions on the lecture circuit. I, G. Gordon Liddy, will have my own nationally syndicated radio show. I, John Ehrlich, will retire from politics and become a best-selling novelist. I, H.R. Haldeman, will just stay beautiful and live in Santa Barbara. What about all this? What about this tape? Damn it! I, I, I told him I didn't erase that stupid tape. It was, it was already defective. No, no, no! God damn it! I'm in this tape. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. 
kill that son of a bitch. What? You can't kill me, man. I did the right thing, goddammit. I blew the whistle. I'm Jeb Stewart Magruder. And you're nobody, Wills. We can kill a nobody. Yeah, we do it all the time. What about all these crooks? All the president's men? Ah, they're all white. I mean, all right. Uh, diplomatic immunity. Mr. President, I got here as fast as I could. I'm Oliver North. <laughs> I know how to increase your cash flow. Darling, would you take the ladies inside? Absolutely. Good evening, Jack. Hey, what up? Ah! Hello, my darling. Okay. Hmm. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. Okay. Adam, what are you doing here? And who the hell are all these women? Relax, they're friends of mine. What kind of friends? Lesbian friends, all right? They are all highly educated, highly successful businesswomen. They have achieved the American dream. Almost. And that is where you come in. Me? Yes. You see, they would like for you to be their child's daddy. Fatima, have you lost your damn They're mind? They're willing to pay $10,000 each. And all I want is 10%. 10%? Finder's fee. Congratulations are in order. Mm. I'm pregnant. Ladies. I think we should begin. Thank you all for coming. Nadia, would you like to start? OK. I've tried adopting Vietnamese, Chinese, Haitian, Croatian, Senegalese, and I kept getting the runaround. Twice, I went to the airport to meet my baby's plane, only to find that my baby wasn't on it. I've now spent over $50,000 in adoption fees, and I just I mean, I can't go through that heartache again. This time, I'm having this baby on my own. Or, I mean, with you, I guess. However that thing goes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, thank you. Thanks. Oni. I'm Oni Wu. Nice to meet you. Um, background is very important to me. Education, genealogy, hair muscle definition, things like that. And uh, what's his IQ level? Are there any health issues? That's why a fraternity clinics never appealed to me. So please, be gentle. Don't let me down, OK? OK, I'll try. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I mean, I'm hating to be the wicked bitch of the east side riders. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm Evelyn. Then again, y'all already knew that. Excuse my skepticalism, but what's a Wharton University college grad doing trying to knock up a bunch of glam dykes at 10 G's a pop? It's an excellent question, Evelyn. Reach. It's a sideline occupation for an ever-changing economy. Greater cash flow gives our man Jack here greater investment versatility, while our moderate, fixed fertilization rates give women such as ourselves better access to a safe, comfortable environment within which we can all pursue our personal goals of procreation. Good answer. I just want to know, is he circumcised? Because if he's not circumcised, I'm sorry, but I'm not going anywhere near him. Relax, Rachel. He's very circumcised, aren't you, Jack? You know that I am, Fatima. Oh, my. Excuse me. What's circumcised? Oh, baby, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll explain it to you later. <clears throat> OK. Um, ah, song. We have not heard from you. Is there something that you would like to add? <laughs> Girl. I'm Song Gupta. Hi. Hi Song. I've never been with a man before. A lot of us haven't been with a man before, ladies. Is it painful? Jack is very gentle. Right, Jack? I am. I am. I'm like soft. 
<laughs> Does he believe in God? A higher being? Does he have a history of mental illness in his family? Something right in the eyes. Does he have any other kids? Because actually, if he does, I'd like to take a look at them. I'm not going to take much more of this. OK. Uh, ladies, any other questions you have, I'm sure can be answered in the packets that you've received. So I need to know who's in. I am. Good. Good. Well, now would be a good time for financial transactions. Thank you, Evan. <laughs> Everyone, please sign your donor waiver forms. Um, Jack, you go and get ready. What? Whoa, you mean now? Well, of course, now. These women are ovulating. Look, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I hate to be a spoil sport here, but uh, in today's tough economy, 10,000 bucks is a lot of money. What are you saying? $10,000 is $10,000. And I would like to see with my own two peepers what I'm paying for before I fork over 10 thousand dollars she does yes. have a point that's the zap i'm saying damn good point jack jack what this rope show us your beautiful body oh no nah, no nah, hell no just strip bitch are you serious these women have paid you quite a bit of money jack you're not shy Can you drop your drawers, please? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jack, we have to see your privates. Come on, nigga, show <laughs> us your tube steak, your man stick. <laughs> Sold. Can you rotate slowly so that everybody can get a good look? Now you know what it feels like to be a sexual object. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Rachel. Oh, Damn. Yes. Where do I sign? I'll pay for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, is that thing going to hurt because, um... You'll be fine. OK. 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 Let's... Hold on one minute. One, okay. Just, just okay. one minute, OK? okay. okay? chicken feet, I will have a boy. The boy grew up, will run fast. Eat. Calm down, calm down, ladies and gentlemen. I want to send this one out right now to all the men out there. I know you all remember my own 1998 platinum selling CD. Nigga, come and get it. Nigga, come and get it. Let me give this up to you. I'm knowing you don't deserve it. But guess what? I need it, baby boo. I'm attracted to you like me, me, Mickey metal to a magnet. I'm Evelyn. And you know this, darling. So stick me, boy, and stab it. I get this when you stick. Wrap my lips around your... Oh, no. Let let me take it kind of slow. Uh, I haven't done this with the guys since the sophomore year at Smith, and let me tell you, it was not that great. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Let me let me see these nails. No, this is uh, no, no. We're gonna have to cut your nails. I want you to warm me up first. I don't want you just sticking that thing in me. Let me get a clipper. What? This is disgusting. Did you wash it? Can I touch it? Can I squeeze? 
Oh. <gasps> Goodness. Ooh. Uh, okay, just get your hand off my chin and focus. Oh, oh, oh wait, that's good. Uh, excuse me, Elsie. Uh, excuse me, Elsie. Who are you talking to? Shh. Awakening the chi. Just try to relax and breathe, okay? Oh, shit. You call me a bitch, huh? Okay. Things didn't quite work out with Alex, so I'm gonna need some more of that man milk. Thank you. Yo, Vader, I got a new name for Fatima. Remember that crazy brother from the XFL? Yeah, that fake NFL defunct league. <laughs> right. Well, Fatima's new name is she hate me. Oh, snap. Right? Yo, when I saw he hate me on the back of that brother's jersey, the first thing I thought, I know his mom's ain't naming that. And the second thing I thought was it was genius, Genius. Man. Pure genius. We, what's his name again? Rod Smart. Right, right, right. Where's he at? In the NFL, man, running back kicks and punt returns for the Carolina Panthers. Rod Smart. He hate me, Fatima. She hate me. Like Mary J be saying that. Hateration, holleration shit. Right. Mary be making up some motherfucking words. For man. real. Yo, but Fatima, she, she doesn't feel that way about you, though, man. She told me so. Told you? What, you been holding out on me? Nah, <laughs> when you refused to call her back, she called me. And she was like, yo, can you hook me up with Jack? <laughs> I told Fatima, She man, hate me. She hate me that I couldn't do that. Right. You I know? can't believe this, man. You be, I thought we was tight. Nigga, man, we tighter than two titties in a push-up bra, man. <laughs> you know what? What? My friend was fine. Meaning what? Meaning I can't really blame Fat. She hate me. She hate me. Saludo. Oh. Sorry, ma. How are you, fine? Ça va, donc. Et toi? Ça va, ça va, super bien. He's expecting us. OK, no problem. Can I have your number? Oh, please, please, the number. Doris Mitchell. Michelle Prawn. Joe Day. Norma Grant. Karen Bruckner. There they are, Jack. Ready for round two? <sighs> Jack? Oh, God. What? Hi. $110,000 in three nights. I bet you never did that at Progia. Uh-uh. This is your 45 large for tonight. And this is my five. How come your girlfriend's not here? You do know her name. Girlfriend. Alex is not speaking to me. 
Why not? Because I'm pregnant and she's not. Jack. Do you know what October 11th is? Someone's birthday? I mean, I know it's not our wedding anniversary because we don't have one. October 11th is National Coming Out Day. I wanted you to know. Know what? That you're bi, lesbian, or straight? More than that. Well, damn, you sure waited a long time to tell me. I mean, how long have you known? Probably since high school. But I was in denial, and I don't mean a river in Egypt. I just always figured it would pass over me. A phase. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't work that way. I don't believe in this gay gene shit. I am not trying to have a deep scientific conversation with you. I just finally figured out that this is who I am. And who is that? Bi or lesbian? Why do I have to put myself in a box? Because that's the way it is. Either you're bi, lesbian, or straight. Pick one. Withholding that from you was a betrayal. I was in love with you. I mean, do you remember that we were engaged to be married? I didn't want to risk losing you. I didn't have the heart to tell you right away. And I know that you may not believe this, but that You never even told me her name. It doesn't matter. It's not going to change I want to know her name. What difference does oh it make? God. You know, Fatima, you haven't changed one bit. That night was the first time that I had ever had sex with a woman. Stop lying. That is true. I mean, I mean, I had fooled around before kissing and whatnot, but I swear on our unborn child. You were reckless. I had to find out before we tied the knot. I bet your friend with no name just seduced you. I know how these lesbians are. They're like vultures. They're worse than men. As soon as they see somebody they want to fuck, they're just on your back. They're so damn persistent. I know she was just on you until you were just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just give you the panties. You may not like to hear this, but I pursued her, not the other way around. So you mean to tell me that you decided to start experimenting with your sexual orientation while our wedding invitations John were in the Henry. mail to both our family and friends? I am not proud I of mean, it. What the fuck, Fatima? What about us? I had to find out. What would, you would have preferred for me to have told you after we're married? What would you have said if I told you when you proposed? Come on. I'm thinking. I know you. I know your pride. You're a man. You're right. And I'm sorry, but I am a man. There's a lot of men who would have walked in and seen that and been thrilled. Well, there's also a lot of so-called straight men going around fucking other men in the culo, coming home bringing AIDS to their wives oh, and girlfriends. It is exactly that kind of ignorant homophobia that oh. made me know that you weren't Homophobia? Men. Yes. Fatima, I deserve the choice. And you fucking took that away from me by not being honest. I'm sorry. I caused you a great deal of pain and embarrassment. What did you learn? in this close encounter with a woman with no name. You really want to know? Yes. You want me to say it? Fatima, please, yes. I love pussy, too. Are you happy now? Actually, I'm very sad. Well, you shouldn't be, because you will see that in the end, I did you a very big favor. You and I will always be connected because I'm having your child. I read somewhere that uh, women are more likely to cheat when ovulating. Men are more likely to cheat when breathing. Good night, Jack.
Fátima. Fátima, ¿te gusta? Excuse me. Oh, oh, shit. shit! What are you doing here? What? What, the fuck is this, huh? what are you doing in my shit? Who are you? Who are you? Get your hands yeah. off me. Is this your shit? Huh? Yeah. Is this your no. shit? Get your no. fucking shit and get out of here! Get your no. shit! The fuck you looking at? Jack, stop! running a little late, so I'm going to need you to start without me. Uh, so remember, everybody pays up front, cash, no checks, and uh, don't expect a repeat of the other night, because these ladies are a little different. Sorry. We're here to see Mr. Armstrong. All of us? All of you. All of you, all of you. All of you. yes. 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 Are you rubber? Like a, a, a good luck Eva? No. No. You too? You go to the um, Mr. Oswald? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, go. Hmm. Hey, uh, can I have your number? Or can I kiss you? Please, go. Okay. I'm assistant of Mr. Armstrong, really. I'm producer of Mr. Armstrong. Hey. No problem. No, 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 no problem. Talofa Jack, I'm Leilani. I hope you got a strong back. Oh. Point card. Hello. Hi. I'm gonna back you down, then post you up. Oh, bitch boy. Bitch, says if I come, mm -hmm. it increases my chances of conception. Oh, what is that? Some kind of new medical fact? I've never heard of that before. I'm not sure, but uh, it should oh. be fun, right? Okay. Plug it in. You're gonna have to come back tomorrow. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything left. See, you made that up. Trust me. You have my $10,000, and I'm not coming back tomorrow. So, I don't know what you're gonna have to do, <clears throat> but you're gonna have to do something, so. That's pitiful. It's been a long day. So if you come back tomorrow, I'm sure it'll be all okay. 
You have my money. Now, I don't know if you need to go watch some porno flicks. I don't know, call Fatima, Alex, somebody, have some phone sex. Whatever you need to do, you need to get it up. Get this thing, ah, okay? Okay, okay, ah, okay. You know, women don't even have this problem. So what you trying to say? You need some of these, I don't know, here. Take some of these, or maybe you need some more bread for. Here, do what you need to do, okay? Because I need to get pregnant. Well, give me my uh, horny goat weed. What are you doing here? I want my five thousand dollars worth. Oh, Alex, come on. I want my five thousand dollars worth. Okay. Look, come on, look. What are you doing? I wish I could do this by myself, without a man. I wish I could take care of Pat, get her pregnant. But I can't. I can't even get myself pregnant. So, we need you. I need you. Okay. I need you. Alex, come. On. Stop. Look, Alex. Alex, come. Alex. Alex. What's wrong with you? I don't even feel like a woman. You've managed to impregnate everyone in the world but me. That's what's wrong. Don't. Excuse me for being blunt. But we see you as dick, balls, and sperm. So come on, let's do the damn thing. Can you please close the door? Jack's fast asleep. Look, I got a lot of shit on my mind, all right? <laughs> yeah, right. More like too much coochie on your dick. But what the hell is that supposed to mean? Means you better get your shit together and quit fucking around. Oh, God don't like ugly. Oh, so now I'm ugly. Oh, your deeds, baby. You ugly in your deeds. The Bible ain't say nothing about Adam and Eve and That's Eve. enough, Jamal, all right? I didn't come out here for no fucking sermon. Oh, would you rather hear mama's? No. Then shut the fuck up and listen to mine. Now look, I'm just a cameraman. And I ain't got a magic wand dick like you got, so what do I know, right? But I'm telling you, I've been thinking hard on this. And spiritually, morally, this shit ain't cool. Oh, no, 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 I'm serious, man. Knocking up a bunch of lesbians? That's some freaky shit. Now what happens if you get them all pregnant, huh? I mean, how many kids you gonna have? Twelve or so. What, a dozen? Man, Bill Gates one of the richest motherfuckers on earth. He only got one. How the hell you gonna raise 12 kids? Look, I don't have to. I signed a donor agreement for him. I don't have to feed him, house him, send him to school. I don't have to do nothing. For real? For real. Good deal. No shit. No way, now hell no, that's some bullshit. Uh. Look. Jack, men provide for their families, even if it's just by being there. I mean, kids need their father. And that's something you ought to know, because we have one of the best. Now, look, you're my brother. I love you. But take some advice from me. Get a vasectomy oh, and call it a on, day. Man, shut up. Sniff. Hey, Jack. Sniff.
You hungry? Not really. I'm cooking dinner, so you're going to eat. Why did you go back to Jack's apartment? I thought you didn't like Dick. I don't. How was I supposed to know the artificial insemination wouldn't work? Fat. Three times. Besides, this whole thing was your idea. So don't empiece conmigo. I'm not starting with you. Yes, yes, you are. Got this whole thing about us getting pregnant at the same time. I didn't think of that, Mommy. You did. You wanted it. So I went along. I supported you. I've been supporting you since day one. I don't want you to do this for support. I want you to do this because you want to have a baby, because you want to start our family together. Because you want that. That's what I want. To really, Fat, why are you bugging me about me and Jack? Why were you at Jack's house? We have business with him. That late at night. Really. Business. What were you doing there? You are so fucked up. You're always flipping things. No. Yes. No. No, that yes. is not what this is about. Yes, what exactly were you doing this... there? What were you doing there? I know who I am. I know why I was there. And I was there to get pregnant. You, you haven't even come out to your parents. I am not you. Yes. And don't ask me questions that you don't want to know the answers to. Do you want to be with him? I still have feelings for him. But I want to be with you. This is good being you, Fat. But add some good dick to the equation and it changes everything. No. No. Yes. Alex, that, no. Yes. Nothing. Nothing. J Jack has not come between us. I saw you at his apartment and now you're telling me you have feelings for him. Yes. He's come between us, so why don't you go sit down and eat? Dinner's ready. Get off me, sweetie. Get off hey. me. Stop it if you don't mean it. Sure, you know what you're doing. Yeah, man. You gave me the inspiration for it, no, you know? No, no, no. I didn't have nothing to do with this. Don't put this shit on me. Hi, welcome to Abgo. May I help you? Uh, yeah. My name is Veda Huff. I have a one o'clock appointment. Oh, okay. And there you are. I'm Terry. And your name? Oh, not me. I'm just along for the ride. Moral support for my boy. <laughs> Let us know if you change your mind. Here, please, take our brochure. Here at Abgo, we can always use good specimen. Mr. Huff? Yeah, uh, you can call me Veda. Mr. Huff. Please follow me. Fill this out. And this is? That is a potential donor questionnaire. Very simple. I'll be back when you're done. Mm-mm-mm. Shorty's a jump off for real, B. For real. Ugh. So how much they pay? Um, sixty dollars a specimen or something like that. Not as much as you getting, but uh, gotta pass the mustard. What you afraid they not up to snuff? <laughs> Are you crazy, man? I got mad marks, Pittsburgh. My shits be swimming like Olympic gold medalists, man. How much you think Michael Jordan would get for his sperm? Come on, man. I don't know. What about Shaq, Bruce Springsteen, Derek Jeter. Tom Cruise, 
Willie Mays, Brando, Jagger, James Brown, Denzel, Ali, even Kobe. You can't put a price on that, Vader. A price could be put on anything, man. You doing it. So what about the dead cats? Ellington, Miles, Van Gogh, Armstrong, mm. Mark Twain, Sinatra, Mozart, Coltrane, Picasso, Shakespeare, Da Vinci, even Jesus of Nazareth, man. You know, a whole lot of money for that. Money for what, Vader? To buy these specimen if you could, man. So if you could, you know, pay for sperm, you could pay for eggs. Cleopatra, Jackie O, Billy Holiday, Nina Simone, Ella, Marilyn Monroe, Mother Teresa, Grace Kelly, or Dorothy Dandridge, how much they would go for? Vader, that's not some shit I ever thought about in my entire life. Well, then maybe you should start then. Sophia Loren, Audrey Hepburn, Aretha, Halle, Venus and Serena, mm. Beyonce, them tender, fresh, fertile young eggs. Shit's be at a premium. You crazy as a motherfucker. Smile if you want, but watch. All done? Yes, Terry. We need a sample. Yes, Terry. Follow me. I'll take you to the ejectorium. The what? The ejectorium. It's just a private room. OK. <laughs> I'm out, kid. Have fun. just walked in there. The correct terminology is sperm retention over low back. <laughs> the correct terminology is 30 second motherfucker who can't get no ass because he nut too fast. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Get Fuck that you, nasty man. Mark spit shit away from me. It's quality, not quantity. All oh, right, right, right. Thank you. That's a damn shame. I just got to take my vitamins. Jack. Look, I'm sorry I didn't come talk to you sooner. I just didn't want to stick my neck out. Oh, I see. It's the new game called high-tech lynching. It's not a game. Pergia's future's on the line. Powell won't stop at anything to protect it. Well, even if that means destroying people's lives in the process? Yeah. Oh, I see. I fit the profile, young, aggressive, Recently fired, disgruntled, angry, black. Oh, the SEC is going to love this, right? This isn't about race, and you know it. Oh, I know. It's about who goes to prison and who doesn't, baby. What's this I hear about you making babies now, hmm? I was pregnant once. Well, twice, actually, but first time didn't really count. Second time, I lost the baby about three months in. I didn't expect it of myself, but I actually loved everything about being pregnant. Even the morning sickness. <laughs> Even though my ex-husband was a total fucking asshole prick. <laughs> he divorced me after I started making twice as much as he did. I guess I always thought I'd take time off, try again. Career. What do you think, Jack? You're the expert here. You think I'm too old to have a baby? Older women are having healthy babies every day. I know, but right now, I'm lacking the main ingredient. What do you charge? <laughs> I need for you to do me a favor. OK. I think. I need for you to give this to Powell for me. Please. How did you know about the babies? How we know is not what's important. 
That we know is what should scare the shit out of you. You promise me to be careful, Jack. Promise me. I promise. Cheers. You are actually guaranteed through the fourth visit. If you're not pregnant by the end of the fourth visit, we will refund the entire amount. Ah, that is him. Hello, sweetheart. Uh, Doak let us in. We were expecting five women, but we only have four because one stood us up. We'll give them their money back. Why? Sorry, ladies. The shop's closed. Jack, wait. Ah, uh, it's that time of the month. Excuse me. Jack, Get out of, get out of my Jack. house. Leave. Fat Jack. enough, leave. Sweetie, hey. Excuse me. Lady, did you just ring my doorbell? I'm sorry. It was a mistake. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what's wrong? I'm looking for uh, John Henry Armstrong. Fatima sent you, right? Fatima. She asked me if I wanted to go to this pregnancy party. Mind you, I never said I would. I said I would think about it. Oh, God, my father's going to kill me. Maybe you shouldn't do it. He's going to kill me if I don't do it. I really don't understand. I was raised Roman Catholic. And I'm the only daughter of a very important man. I feel like such a whore. There's only one hoe sitting here. And it show as hell, isn't you? Thanks. I feel a lot better. You made up my mind. I'm gonna do it. Do what? Have a kid. Go ahead. Make me a baby. Whoa, 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 lady, look. I don't mean to disappoint you, but I'm not doing that anymore. Why not? You've got something against Italians? We're not telling the mob, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, slow your roll. It's not like that at all. It's a spiritual thing. It's morals, ethics. Why do men have to be so... complicati? You're talking about men in general or someone in particular? My father. Mm. He wants grandkids. Fine. Crazy thing is, I want babies too. I've wanted them since I was a kid. There must be someone you know. Someone who you feel comfortable with. I feel comfortable right here. Yeah, but you don't know me. I was going to try a sperm bank or fertility clinic, but... Then I read about that doctor, that Cecil B. Jacobson, who impregnated 70 of his own unknowing patients with his own sperm. So I said, forget about it. So, you see, this is the only way. Please. Sorry, but I don't think it's possible to feel the moment of conception. Trust me. I'm very sensitive. I'd like to know what it is. You know? Boy, girl, both. Thank you, Jack. What's that? I got it from Jack. 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 Read it. Dear Mr. Powell, how deep is your crease? It's 
sex and scandal always make front page news. Margot, your problem is you, you're too emotional. Don't lose your edge. What a good boss. Mafia. I still don't understand why you did it. We agreed on artificial insemination. Have a stiff drink. I'll be back in a second. That's fine, pal. Franco. Nino. Rocco. Hello. <laughs> Papino. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. You're late. You're always late. I had to wait for Gia. Yes, Gia, Gia. It's always Gia. Your mother, God rest her soul, went to her grave thinking you were sick in the head. That the devil had sneaked into your soul. Fucking balls on this one, huh? Fucking balls <laughs> on this one. Got bad looking for a dyke. <laughs> You know, I'm trying to be understanding to this way of life, but it's not easy for me. I love her. I read books. I even talked to a priest who I cannot stand talking to. Why do you choose to rub it in my face? We're as discreet as possible. We never, never, ever have disrespected you. Thanks. So what's the news? I'm pregnant. What you've always wanted. A grandchild. Maybe twins. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm very happy for you and uh, your partner. I'm very happy. Who's the father? He's a very nice, kind, warm, professional, intelligent MBA. An AA. AA. Afro-American. A colored. Yes, Daddy. Well, that's good. Grazie, Papino. Okay. Il mio papino. <laughs> Not for nothing. If the old man didn't give the hands off, you would have caught a hell of a beat. You know, worse. Hey, what's worse? Oh, you don't ever want to find out. Oh, how'd you meet my cousin Simona? But well, she just showed up at my door. I never seen her before in my life. Get the fuck out of here. You fucking with me, you are fucking killing me. I'm not lying, man. Hey, listen, you better be on up and up. I am, so help me God. Yeah, I believe him. I mean, these lesbian muff divers, they'll do anything, right or wrong. No? You're right, right or wrong. It's carpet munchers. They're humping and bumping each other's crotches and snatch. It's fucking disgusting. But I'll watch it, though, yeah. right or wrong. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> oh, you like rap? Some. You like Jay-Z? Of course. You know Jay-Z? Jigga, uh, Hova, uh. Well, what, because he's black, he knows these rappers? I don't know. I figured maybe you met him in a club. Look, I met LL once in a club. See, I told Shut you. Shut the fuck up, right? Hey, Nino, get him in the car, huh? What are you having me for? John Henry Armstrong. This is my father, Angelo Buonasera. How do you do? I'm Mr. Buonasera. Nice to meet you. Likewise. When did I ever refuse an accommodation? All of you know me here. Yeah? When did I ever refuse it? Except one time. And why? Because. I believe this drug business is going to destroy us in the years to come. I mean, it's not like gambling or liquor or even women, which most people want nowadays, and 
It's forbidden by our Petsavante and the church. And even in the police departments that have helped us in the past are going to refuse to help us when it comes to narcotics. And I believe that then. And I believe that now. Then the other guy gets up. The fat guy is Alucci, right? He gets up from his chair and he says, uh, I also don't believe in drugs. For years, I paid my people extra so they wouldn't do that kind of business. Somebody comes up to them and says, I have powders. If you put up three, 4,000 investment, we can make 50,000 distributing. So they can't resist. I want to keep control of it as a business to keep it respectable. I don't want it near schools. I don't want it sold to children. That's an infomnia. In my city, we keep the traffic in the dark, people, the colored. They're animals anyway, so let them lose their souls. Now, that's always been my favorite scene from The Godfather. Well, that's because it's true. You know, Mario, he wrote a lot more. Francis, you know, cut it out. So is that what you believe? What? That we're all animals? Hey. What I believe is inconsequential. You know, I make my money off all kinds of different people. Some of my customers are black people. You have to know your customer. So you, you do a little study. You study us. Hey, I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm Dr. Henry Louis Gates or the other guy, what, what's his name, with the afro? Cornell West? I asked the guy. But I know a thing or two, you know. I watch Larry King. I got another one for you. Go right ahead. Why are more African-American males in jail than in college? Why are the three out of four households single parent, no man around? Lack of education, environment, um, institutional racism. Mm -hmm. All right, I got another one for you. Why do all these rappers think they're gangsters? Huh? I mean, the names they call themselves. Uh, uh, Gotti, Murdering, Death Row, C Murder, Capone, Scarface. I and mean, they can call themselves all the Gambinos, Genovese, Lucchese they want. They'll never be us. I mean, it's blood. I They're agree. nothing but make believe, studio, fictionalized gangsters. Why aspire to be us? That's, that's what you got to me. You think I want my nephews in this kind of business? And what with all the high-tech surveillance, witness protection program, heavy prison sentences? It's not the same this way of life. I'm one of the last ones. I'm a dinosaur. Well, last time I checked, your nephews love rap music. Uh, how they were raised on Sinatra and ended up with Snoopy Dogg is one of life's great mysteries. And imagine, this P. Diddy says he's the black Sinatra. <laughs> My ass. Anyway, my daughter says that you signed a, uh, a donor agreement. So in the eyes of the law, you have no legal anything to do with my grandchildren who are on the way. Right. Today will be the uh, last time you ever see Simona. Well, why did you do it? My daughter says you have a lucrative business. You're, where's your morals? Your self-respect, son. Look, I was in a tight situation. I can understand that. Survival makes a person do things they know in their heart is wrong. Mr. Armstrong, it's been a pleasure talking to you, but it's time to leave. Come on. I'm not going to hurt you. You're safe here. Don't worry. It's not like in the movies. Come on. <laughs> Still fucking with me. Come with me. <clears throat> You're wrong, spelt with a capital W. <laughs> You're a technicolor example of all the worst stereotypes and niggas dropping babies all over the place. Niggers like you keep holding the race back. Oh, bullshit. Look, we're way past the day of one African-American representing the entire race. I didn't say nothing about no African-American like me. I'm talking about niggers like you. Look, you don't know me on my situation, OK? I know enough to make sure you spend some long time in the Hoosca. Bet you I know that. Oh, come on, the 
mob? You gotta be joking, right? You tell me, Wharton boy. We've also got you on insider trading and fraud. Look, the only thing I'm guilty of is whistleblowing, and that's not a crime. Well, then I guess you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. Oh, you know, by the way, you're under arrest. Shit. Look, can I at least go and put on some clothes? <laughs> Shit. That won't be necessary. It's the recurring hit show, The Perp Walk. Guest star this week, you. Put your hands out. When we get outside, I want you to show that big ass watermelon you can grin that you have. Right hand, left hand. Hold this. Let's go now. How am I going to help you if you don't tell me everything? I asked you from the get go not to lie to me. How did I lie? I thought one thing didn't have to do with another. That's not a lie. You withheld information and you thought wrong, okay? Do you realize how much more difficult you have made things for yourself? This is jail. This is no joke. Okay, fine. As my attorney, tell me some shit that I can't figure out by myself. What's the real number, Jack? Look, I don't know. Uh, uh, 14, 6 shit. Look, I lost count. What were you thinking? And don't tell me it was a case of good pussy and good money is a hard thing to turn down. I'm seeing your face on TV, on the front of the newspapers. This is not the case that I agreed to take on. I thought it didn't matter, all right? Everything matters in your life now, Jack, everything. Do you realize how great an impact this is going to have on how your character is viewed? And I'm going to give you some sound, legal, professional advice. I ask that you please not speak with anyone without me. OK. Good. Now, from the beginning, and don't leave anything out. Affirmative action. Good for America? John Henry Armstrong thinks so. Paid for by the committee to re-elect President George Bush. Let that porch monkey Armstrong come down here and try that. If this isn't evidence of Negroes, subhuman, animalistic behavior, I'll leave my white hood. For Jack to give up his sperm for us women, I just think that's one of the greatest things a man can do. Jack Armstrong, der, das ist ein bisschen krass, aber ähm, die ganze Geschichte. Aber ich finde, wenn er das anbietet und die Frauen, die genug Geld dafür haben, um das machen zu wollen, sollen sie es machen. Yo no creo que eso está bien lo que está haciendo. ¿Por qué? Uh, las cosas con las mujeres, o sea, embarazando a las mujeres. Um, no creo que eso está bien. Jack is all mine. It's just not right. This is Cool Cow, the original star child, feel me? Now check this out, that cat Jack is doing his thing, get that 10 G's to light them babes up. I think he's a player. He's sick and nasty. The artificial way, I'm not really feeling that. The better ways of um, having children other than having to sell your sperm and to buy sperm for $10,000. You gonna feel me and you gonna know I'm up in there. Word up. I'd never let him date my daughter. Has anybody thought about those poor, poor babies? Yo quiero tu espermatozoide, porque es la única forma que me va a curar a mí la depresión, la ansiedad y todos los ataques de pánico. Así que ya, por favor, chico, dame una noche de placer, porque yo quiero estar contigo. Yo quiero saber qué es lo que pasa con todas estas mujeres que te quieren a ti. I disapprove of him and pregnant lesbians because, you know, if you're not in a relationship with a woman, you know, this doesn't make no sense. It's a simple business transaction. Again, there might be some ethical questions. I don't think it's unethical at all. I wouldn't date him. I'd fuck him, though. Mr. Armstrong, you're being charged with one count securities fraud, one wire fraud, two counts mail fraud, one count of conspiracy. How do you plead? I plead not guilty, Your Honor. Very well, sir. In light of the seriousness of these charges, I'm setting bail at $5 million. Your Honor, bail is extremely high. My client is not a flight risk, and he should be released on his own recognizance. Your client is a menace to society. Bail stands. Margot, if you can't be on time, I'll find someone who will. Then I suggest you start looking. I've just resigned. What? I need you. Pergia needs you. Don't go hormonal on me, Margot. Fuck you. Fuck you, too. Mr. Powell. What? Uh, Mr. Flood on line one. I don't know any Flood. Uh, hold my calls. 
Sir, he says he's with the SEC. Hello. Bible. Have all them babies yet? situation, all right? Well, you could have come to me. You could have come to your father. You could have come home like Jamal and Lucy. First of all, I'm not choir boy Jamal, okay? No, you better believe it, you're not. I would have given you the money. All that baby mess is fucked up. And you weren't raised like that. are more gorgeous than when you came to visit. I look forward to seeing you both again soon and our, or should I say, your babies. All this solitude gives me much time to think and reevaluate my life. I think once I'm out, there will be some changes made. Love, Jack. He gave me his blessings. This is from him. What does it say? Mafia proverb. The man who does not hear and does not speak is the man who lives. The House Energy and Commerce Committee wants to see you in DC two weeks from today. You should know that Alex called and Fatima's gone into labor. What? What? 
Rejected for what? You're the first person I'm telling this to, all right? I got rejected on three accounts. The average for a male is 50 million semen per cc. Right. They need 100 million. Right. I had 10 million. Morphology, shit ain't look right. Uh, number three is motility. Stop smiling. I'm not, my ear was itching. They weren't fast enough. <coughs> I mean, they great sperm on a scale of zero to three. Right. Plus or minus, and mine was a minus one. So I ain't had no Mark Spitz after all. Should've just fucked up. Oh, come on, V. You all right, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm cool, man. I mean, I'm healthy, can have kids. You gonna look back on this and see it as a blessing. Trust me. Come on, let's go see my boy. Do you think he look like me? <laughs> you guys are back. Be <laughs> careful, because he's sleeping. Boy, talk. It's my son telling me to be careful. Now, quiet! One more sound out of here, I'll have this chamber cleared. Now, for the last time, Mr. Armstrong, are you gonna answer the question? No, sir, Mr. Chairman. I reject the question. <laughs> You can't reject the question. Would you please answer the question, Mr. Armstrong? I repeat, Mr. Chairman, I reject the question. On what grounds do you reject the question? On the grounds that neither you nor anyone else on this committee wants me to answer that question honestly. No, sir. What you want is for me to sit here like some McCarthy-era puppet and give you a nice, quaint, politically correct homage to your question of financial, moral, and ethical outrage. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, I, I am not a puppet. Mr. Armstrong, did you or did you not place a telephone call to the Ethics Commission in September of last year? I did place a call, yes. And was not the reason for that call, Mr. Armstrong, to deceive our financial watchdogs into thinking that unethical business practices in your company were perpetrated by another person when they were actually perpetrated by you? Absolutely not. Mr. Chairman, I made that call to the Ethics Commission in earnest. I did not make that call without careful consideration, scrutiny of the facts, and tremendous angst over what the ramifications of that call might be. Mr. Chairman, if I may be so permitted. Yes, yes, by all means. The chair gratefully recognizes the gentlewoman from Illinois. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Now, Mr. Armstrong, I have before me, sir, several sworn depositions from your colleagues stating that you knew well in advance that Prexlin would never gain FDA approval. Because on orders from Dr. Schiller and yourself in cahoots, key elements to the drug's effectiveness were intentionally omitted. Senator Sweeney, I bitterly resent any suggestion that I had anything to do with Prexlin's failure with the Food and Drug Administration. I worked diligently to raise capital, which sole purpose was to bring to the world a cure for mankind's most deadly disease. The great Professor Schiller wanted to extend the testing period at least a year. Prexilin was successful on only 75% of the cases tested. He went to Powell and the board to gain approval for this delay, and they said no, full steam ahead. They wanted to get to the finish line first, get it past the FDA and to the public. When Professor Schiller balked, they went ahead anyway and falsified data. Hold on, hold on, hold on, young man. Now, what are you implying here? I'm saying, Mr. Chairman, that the data is rigged. The most recent tests are bogus. Dr. Schiller and I believed that with sufficient time for further testing, Prexilin will work. Imagine a vaccine for the millions of people suffering with AIDS around the world. A world which coincidentally just so happens to include practically the entire continent of Africa. You know, if I may, I'd like to pose a question. When Prexilin or any other drug is finally approved by the FDA, will the multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical industry raise the price so high that it's out of the reach of the vast majority of people suffering with AIDS? 50 million people will die. Tell the truth. Does any one of you care? All right, now careful, Mr. 
You just be careful now. You're in a very big kitchen here with a very hot fire. And I suggest that you very quickly put some truth onto the stove. Mr. Chairman, I object to any inference that my client has been less than truthful to this body. Well noted, Ms. Reed. I, the record shall reflect your objection. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, let me assure you, the truth is the main ingredient with which I cook. And by the time we're finished here today, we'll have a barbecue up on the hill. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mr. Armstrong. Good barbecue is hard to find. Now then, truthfully, please. Tell us of the $350 million stock sell-off prior to the FDA's rejection of this drug. What was your personal profit? Zero. For the simple fact, I had no knowledge whatsoever of the purchase of the stock, let alone the sale, until the suicide of Dr. Herman Schiller. What's Progea's connection to the Bonacera crime family? Mr. Chairman, I'd like for the record to show that you referred to the Bonaceras as a crime family. I have no knowledge of that being a fact. Fine, thank you. Absolutely, so be it. What's your connection to the Bonacera family? I am a friend of the family. What kind of a friend of the family? I am the father to Mr. Bonacera's daughter's newborn twins. And isn't it true that you accepted large cash payments from lesbians to impregnate them? Is this true? Answer the question, please. Is yes, this true? Yes, that is true, Mr. Chairman. And I'm not proud of what I did, but that has nothing to do with why we are here. I know that you're looking to catch a very big fish. And here it is. This is Dr. Herman Schiller's journal. He told me not to know is bad, not to wish to know is worse. It's an old African proverb. He said it as a non sequitur right before he jumped from his 40th floor office window. He jumped, Mr. Chairman, because he knew the truth. Which truth is that, Mr. Armstrong? That we are all a bunch of hypocrites. If that is meant as a personal affront to me, I will have you removed right now by the federal marshal. Fine, Mr. Chairman. Have me escorted out. But we are hypocrites, all of us because we seek to destroy the very individuals who are bound by their moral and spiritual convictions. Good, regular Americans. People like Cynthia Cooper of WorldCom, Colleen Rawley, the FBI, and Sharon Watkins of Enron. The whistleblowers. And people like Frank Willis. Frank Wills. Who in dang tarnation is Frank Wills? He is me, Mr. Chairman. And I am him. Would you uh, back that truck up again just one more time for us, please? For both of us, in the course of doing our job, made a decision that changed the course of our lives. From Watergate to Contragate to Financial Gate. What the siento, Juanjo? Que volar. Aquí pensando en Cuba y mi familia. Ustedes pure que nosotros vamos para Cuba sin Fidel. Sin Fidel, que se joda Fidel. Come on, guys, let's cut out the Spanish. Uh, speak English. Yeah. It's American. Can you believe these jerks, these Democrats? I can't believe it. Living in a place open like this, files open, all this stuff. <laughs> jerks deserve to lose. <laughs> oh, they got to win over that pinky McGovern, all right. Yeah. This is some good stuff. How are you making out over there? Oh, Mitchell is going to drool at some of this stuff, guys. Christmas bonus in June. I see it come. Mm. Dick is gonna love this stuff. He's not gonna believe it. Is this it, Wills? Yeah, this is it. Why don't you tell me what you're doing here? We are not armed, OK? We are citizens of the United States. American citizens with latex gloves on. Okay. We're, we, we're a little allergic to paper, so we All have right. to wear this. All right, well, let's talk about that down there. The, we're, we're the Watergate bill, oh, Democratic see. National oh, Committee office, the nation's capital, 2.30 a.m., June 17, 1972. A watchman in the night brought these criminals to justice. James McCord, ex-CIA. Frank Sturgis, CIA connected. 
Eugenio R. Martinez, CIA connected. Virgilio R. Gonzalez, anti-Castro Cuban nationalist. Bernard L. Baker, involved in the Bay of Pigs. But these guys were small potatoes. They just happened to leave a money trail all the way to the President of the United States, Richard Milhouse Nixon. Faced with impeachment and conviction, Nixon chose to resign. Frank Wills and I are one. America killed him, but you will not kill me. I have too much to live for. So, Mr. Oh. Chairman, here is your uh, barbecue, oh. and I hope you'll excuse me because I'm about to be a father again. Yeah. Hold on. We gotta go. Hold on. I'm not finished with you. Mr. John Henry Armstrong, you've been given six months for contempt of a federal hearing, but I'm going to dismiss that charge. Any man with 19 kids needs to be at work and not in prison. Go home. Yeah! Put your hands out. Agent Flood, I have a request. Please don't put the cuffs on. It will destroy my daughters. Do you have children, Agent Flood? Two boys. Then you understand. I I'm begging you on their behalf. Please don't do this to them. It their friends will see this on TV. Good. They don't know you're a damn criminal. And cuffs on the cuff links. Ain't irony a motherfucker? And you're gonna be on the six o'clock news. Let's go. It's the recurring hit show, The Perp Walk. Guest star this week, you, Mr. Leland Powell. She. The bad guy. White collar criminals. They're the worst. They all went to Harvard. Securities, wire, and mail fraud. And all that money. Well, look, see, they're taking them away now. For a long time. Yeah. Go to jail. He doesn't look too happy. He's going away. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Fatima? <laughs> yes. May I talk to you for a minute, please? Mm -hmm. In private? I leave. No. No. Whatever you can say to me, you can say to Alex. Look, you're not making this easy. 
It's never been easy for us. I love you, baby. Not really, I'll go. Please, stay. You know, it's not just me. I have Alex and Jackie and Joe. I understand that. I want to be the man in your lives. And I want to be a father to my two children. What about all the other children? I'm not proud of what I did, OK? But I'm to blame. Not you, not Fatima, nobody but me. I don't want to burn in hell. The four of you are my salvation. So please don't hate me. I could never hate you. Could you love me again? I'll be right back, Dad, OK? <laughs> Son, go take care of your family.
One thing. 